Speaking of bizarre, Michael Quinlan, the manager of uh, Ronnie Burns, I mean, Burns, he's sitting it out at quarter time, ham hamstring gone, speaks to his manager, basically said, come over the fence and join me. He's allowed to go over the fence. They let him in and uh, off he goes. And it's created some controversy, but the, the point I got out of all that, Bruce, was that what does it tell us about Ronnie Burns' current state of mind that his manager was so worried about him that he would do something clearly against the rules? And Caro, I can't believe that Ronnie Burns was left alone there at quarter time. You know, he's, uh, he's been suspended a couple of times this year. He's just torn a hamstring, so it's automatic three or four weeks out. Finals eve. Uh, he shouldn't have been left there. There should have been someone. There's that many people on coaching staffs and so on. Well, I asked Michael Quinlan about that, who also manages Mark Thompson, by the way, and a lot of the Essendon players as well. He said that the bench doesn't have that many people on it and there was no one available to stay there with Ronnie. It was interesting with Burns. I mean, he felt his hammy there and then it's gone there. And the story is, uh, is that... Uh, the physio looked at him, and yeah. a call had to be made, and they all thought that he could go on. A couple of warnings there, Bruce. As you say, uh, you know, he just felt a twinge. The physio went out. Ronnie must have said, I think I'm OK. But, gee, if a player twinges early in the game, you'd be tempted to take him off. You've got four on the interchange and give him a good warm-up on the bench and a stretch and, and let the doctors really get into him before you send him out again.